My name is Jabari Handy, and I'm 19 years old. I was incarcerated at BCDC when I was 17 years old, and this is my story. Grandma died October 20th, 2008. We had an argument, and um, at the time I didn't know that she had died. So I'm at my best friend's house, and I'm thinking everything's fine until I see the ambulance probably an hour later. The police comes to my best friend's house, and they says, say things like, they just need to talk to me. I'm thinking that it, everything's going to be okay, but the police officer just took my arm and put it in handcuffs, and I still didn't know what was going on at the time. When I was walking down the street towards my grandmother's house, I seen my sister and my mother outside the door, and it was my mother, my sister was crying hysterically, and she was just saying things, and my mother yelled out the door. You know, they trying to say you killed grandma. And that was the as they was putting me in a police car and I I, I just zapped out. I, I didn't know what else to do. My grandma was gone, you trying to say I killed her. So that night they took me to Wexters and they let me go the next day because juvenile system said they had they had no case against me guess me. It was no evidence. But about that happened in October, about a month later, my brother called and said that the detectives was keep investigating and stuff. So November 10th, I turned 17 years old. And November 14th, November 13th, I found out I had a warrant out for my arrest by my public defender, and I turned myself in on Baltimore Street. And on the first day there, it was just crazy because I had to take a shower with a grown woman because they didn't know I was a juvenile at first. Mm -hmm. And it's just nasty and trifling down there. like. I'm not even gonna lie, I was scared. I didn't know what was gonna happen to me. I didn't know how long I was gonna be there. I didn't know if I was gonna ever see my family again. I don't I don't know the whereabouts of my grandmother. I didn't get to go to her funeral or nothing. I didn't even really get to say goodbye to her. Me and my grandmother, we had arguments in and there, but we was, I, I believe I was her daughter. I don't even believe I was her granddaughter. Um, we was like best friends, Mother's Day, birthdays, Valentine's Days, like she was all my number ones and all the little holidays and I would get her cards and everything. So it's hard because not only that the people outside, like the people in the courtroom judge me, but my family judges me too. And during the situation that they charged me, I not only lost my grandma, but I lost a side of my family. I don't talk to them, they don't want to talk to me. So it's like me and my grandma, we was best friends. It just happened at the wrong time. And it was just, I believe it was just her time to go. I don't believe I caused it. I don't hold myself responsible. I took, I did my time and I'm done. If I don't get the expungement, that's, that, that holds me up from everything. Like, I can't get jobs or nothing like that because of my charge. I have a manslaughter charge. So mm -hmm. I can't get jobs. I can't go to school. And if you look at my, back, my criminal background, that's all you see. You won't see me, the person. You'll see my criminal history. Mm -hmm. like, to me, it's like real stressful for a person to try to do it all they can for themselves and and nobody's trying to help them. Like, as like as my as my opinion, I believe that I'm doing better than what I was doing out here before. Jail has changed me, placement has changed me because I went through all of those just to get to where I am today. And it's just that they won't give me financial aid because I have a felony because I I've been and that's that's that hurts me. Because I want to get my education. You got people out here that don't want to get, get their education. And I've been through jail when I want to get my education. And you want to deny me? Like, it's, a, it's, and it's other services too. Like, like social service is supposed to give me vouchers. And they deny me because of my, my case and stuff like that. But I'm working on getting my expungement. And after my expungement, I'm not even going to worry about it anymore because that's my past.